Let's kick off this week's live picks with a revival of Tapau Nation, where senior food correspondent Wong Ayok reviews delivery food. Hi Ayok! Now you have two picks for us today. The first, the lauded Birds of a Feather restaurant at Amoy Street. It actually waives the delivery charge, which is a plus point for us, definitely. What else is great about this place uh, that can withstand the Tapau journey? So they call themselves a Western restaurant with uh, Sichuan flavors. But for me, a lot of their dishes are actually very Chinese. Uh, what I like uh, to order from them would be the noodle soups. Because noodle soups, actually you would think that won't travel well, but this restaurant packs them separately. The noodles are separate from the soup. So what you just need to do is just heat up the soup when it reaches your home and then add the noodles and voila, you get a very, very nice bowl of uh, noodle soup. The one I ordered is King Prawns Noodle, which comes with like big crunchy prawns and a very spicy broth. So if you like spicy food, yeah, go for that. The other dish that I ordered, which I like very much is uh, fried crispy pig's intestines. This also travels very well because I like that the chef stuffs it with leeks which turn very sweet after they're fried. So it's a, it's a fantastic combination. Well, are you next one that uh, you're going to talk about is 8 Degrees, a Taiwanese E3. There are two uh, Taiwanese uh, street food that I love very much and this restaurant has both of them. Uh, one is Mi Sua, which is like a starchy noodle soup and usually uh, it comes with oysters or pig's intestines and this restaurant has both and you can actually have a bowl with both of them and uh, that's what I ordered because I love oysters and I love intestines because of the chewy texture. The other dish uh, that I like uh, from Taiwan is, uh, in Chinese, it's called lu rou fan, which means pork belly rice. And the version in this restaurant is good too. They do it slightly differently. Instead of uh, dicing the pork, it comes in uh, thin, thin uh, pieces, but it works as well. The, dish, the, the sauce for the dish is delicious, and it comes with an egg, which is quite nice. Uh, and there's also a bit of uh, pickled vegetables, which add a nice bit of uh, acidity. Uh, it helps to cut the fat from the from the pork. So it all together makes a very nice dish. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Ayok. That was senior food correspondent Wong Ayok. Now be sure to check out his Tapau Nation column every Monday and Wednesday as part of Life's Stay Home Guide. Also something to enjoy without leaving your house, the Esplanade's annual Red Dot August concert series which will be live streamed in full. Here to share more is music correspondent Adino Abdul Hadi. Welcome back Adino. Could you highlight some performances for us? Alright, so it starts uh, this Sunday, 1st of August and um, I'll probably be catching the first one. Uh, that's That will be indie pop singer-songwriter Krista Joy. Uh, she's kicking off the series uh, with a live stream show that starts uh, at about 8.15, I think. Yeah. So Krista's a, a 23 years old singer-songwriter. She first made headlines back in 2018 when she won the National Arts Council's Noise Music Award. You know, so that year she was among a batch of budding young artists who were mentored by seasoned musicians in the homegrown music scene. Uh, through the NAC's noise program. So I think last month, in June, she released her second full-length album, Embrace the Progress. Uh, it's got songs about celebrating small wins in the face of failure and adversity. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of really positive messages in the songs there. And um, it's a follow-up to her first album, uh, released in 2019, Enjoy the Process. So I'm guessing that we'll see her play original songs from these two albums. And then uh, we've got uh, Tim Dakota. He's performing on National Day itself, uh, August 9th at 8.15. Now, Tim is a, he's a soul R&B singer, songwriter, and a fantastic bass player. And uh, you know, from what I understand, it will be just him performing solo with his bass guitar and some effect pedals. Uh, so back in 2017, uh, Tim released his debut album, The Warrior. And um, he's always talked about how he's currently working on uh, new songs for his second album, for an upcoming album. We don't know when that's going to be out. But um, I'm expecting him to play, you know, original tunes from his first album, The Warrior, and 
who knows maybe we can hear him play some new songs for the first time uh, during his set and um, you know Red Dot August it's almost uh, a show daily from what I understand and uh, it goes all the way until the end of the month at the end of all thanks Dino as the name suggests Red Dot August runs for the entirety of next month visit the Esplanade's website for more details let's look ahead to a movie that's out today Jungle Cruise headlined by Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt film correspondent John Wee is here with a quick review hi John this is the latest film to be based on a theme park ride, Pirates of the Caribbean being the most famous of them. Did you like Jungle Cruise or not and why? I liked it but I wish I liked it more. You see, all the ingredients are there for a big fun movie and it's there, you know, Emily Blunt, Dwayne Johnson, they play the adventurer and the boat captain going down the Amazon in search of a fabled plant. Um, then they meet all kinds of bad guys and they have adventures. I mean, the formula is there, it's great. I just wish that it had a bit more weirdness and you can see that, you know, on another film based on a theme park ride, Pirates of the Caribbean. I challenge you to remember all the good guys and all the villains but one thing that you can always remember are the horror bits you know you remember captain barbosa and his cursed uh, ship of pirates and all their weird ghostly bodies you remember bill nye as Davy Jones, you know, the guy who's part crab, part octopus. Those are the things you remember from Pirates of the Caribbean. And Jungle Cruise has some of that, some of those supernatural horror things, but I wish there was more. Hmm, you're right, something to ponder about. Well, thank you so much, John. Jungle Cruise opens today in cinemas. It's also available on Disney Plus Premier Access from tomorrow. You can check out Life's A Stay Home Guide on straightstimes.com where you can also find more news and videos.